Hi, welcome back to the Organic Gardening, Homesteading, and Woodworking channel. This time we'd like to talk to you a little bit about some of the issues we've had uh, with a couple of people that have been following our starting soil recipe for seed starting. So we had someone contact us and say that they had some issues starting seed. So we're going to talk about some modifications to that mix. Uh, it's a pretty hot mix. Um, that means that we have a lot of um, active ingredients in there that will feed mold, feed the microbiology in the mix. So much that if you're not very experienced and know what you're doing, you can actually have problems starting your seeds. So dad has modified the recipe a little bit to make it a little bit less hot or a little bit less biologically active so that novice users to uh, be successful starting their seeds. So let's get into the seed starting soil mix recipe modifications. So when we did that video, we did it in parts. Each thing was a certain part. And we're gonna eliminate uh, a couple of those parts altogether. I'll just go through the list so you don't have to go back to the other video to write it all down. So we'll just go right through the list of everything that mm -hmm. is in the recipe. And then you can uh, just write it down here and you'll have the whole thing. So we had, to begin with, we used uh, three parts of perlite. One part in this recipe equals one quart in that video. So yeah. just remember that because when it comes to measuring some of the ingredients and we have like one inch or two inches of the ingredient, that's in the bottom of a quart container. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So three, it was three parts of perlite. There's two parts of coca coir, and then the three parts of peat moss. Those will all stay the same. We won't change those at all. That's not an issue with this uh, mix. So what we're going to do is change the kelp. It had two inches of kelp in the, the mix, and we're going to change that to one inch of kelp in the mix and eliminate the fish bone meal altogether. Just mm -hmm. scratch that, save yourself some money. And then uh, it had one inch of blood meal, and we're going to scratch that as well and get rid of the blood meal. And then it had one part of worm castings, and we will drop that down to a half a part of worm castings. So it would be a half of a quart. Half of a quart, yeah, mm -hmm. two cups. And then uh, it called for one half cup of VAM Indomix, and we'll drop that down to a quarter cup of VAM Indomix. Mm -hmm. And so that's the recipe now. And that should take care of the issues that we were seeing. Yeah, we had some people reporting mold growing on the top of their mix. Uh, it's poor ventilation, uh, high humidity. Um, so we originally made that mix in mind with people leaving their seedlings and their starts in the pots longer than they should. And that would ensure plenty of nutrition for them from the get-go. But <laughs> when you don't know what you're doing, it ends up being counterproductive. Especially when you, if you had some of this mix left over and you put it in a bucket or a container mm -hmm. and you happen to put a lid on it or in a bag and seal it up, it will mold on you because there's just no air movement and the thing's starting to break down like composting and it'll make that mold. And so you don't, we don't want that. Mm -hmm. You kind of have to know how to work with that hot mix. So that's why we're dropping this down and making it a lot more mellow mm -hmm. and not so hot. Yeah. So we want all of you to have the most success possible getting your seeds germinated to have a successful gardening season. If you do have issues, please let us know like this other subscriber and we'll see if we can help you get your issues sorted out. It helps all of us and what we find, we will make a video kind of like this and let the rest of you know so everybody's better informed and can have better success with their gardening setup. So anyway, if you like this video, leave us a comment down in the section below, subscribe, Give us a thumbs up. And remember, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. 